Just for over a year, let's just take you through some of the other runners and riders. There is uh, Diariba from, from Spain, the European Indoor Champion. There is Chariot stepping down. Unbeaten own nine races. This uh, a wonderful city for him. He won the world title here a year ago. There is uh, the Australian ball and Wesley Vasquez, who likes to go out hard. Ferguson Rotic, who took bronze in those world championships. He goes in five and will be a, a stiff test, I suggest, for Timothy Chariot, an 800-metre specialist, of course, so Rotic, who's been in good form as well. And there is Bryce Hopple, who was just outside the medals, a brilliant fourth at the World Champs a year ago, collegiate champion and the second fastest in the world this year, only behind Donovan Brazier, his, uh, his teammate. A couple of British athletes as well, Elliot Giles and Guy Learmonth. Learmonth, the uh, British indoor champion, they go in uh, lane three. Nice of them to share a lane together. Kinyamal, who likes to go out hard, the Commonwealth Games champion, and uh, Sawinski, the uh, American, 30 years old now, on the inside. But Chariot in lane seven, third right of picture with a good opportunity here to make a mark. And, well, victory would be sweet for him. And he's got another incentive, which I'll explain to you in just a moment. Men's 800 metres. Well, the extra incentive for Chariot is a target of 143. His personal best at 800 metres is 143.11. If he were to get under 143, he would join an exclusive club of people to go under 143 and 330 for, thir uh, for, three, for 1,500 metres. There are only four members of that club. Vasquez, we mentioned, likes to go out hard. Giles there as well, Rotic, and then the Hopper with that wonderful, smooth style. But it's Giles, incidentally, aiming to go through the first 400 metres in 49.50. So we'll keep an eye on that. But Giles and Rotic now just coming to take closer order, and Chariot with that instantly recognisable forward-leaning style, just having to go a little bit wider to get out of a bit of traffic there. But the pacemaking duties by uh, Joseph Denk. Uh, well, just outside, a bit slower, so I think that 143, Steve, is possibly looking a little unlikely. Yeah, all sitting of it. Well done, Elliot Giles, so at least bridging the gap, and uh, Rotich is now moving up. But as you said, Chariot really uh, maybe finding it a little bit quick, and uh, the front runners like Vasquez haven't taken it on. I, I was interested to watch Hoppel's tactics as well. I, I really am a big fan of his, but this is anyone. This, uh, anyone can win this. Yeah, 2.50 to go. Rotich then, the 800 metre specialist, leading it out. Giles still in second place, and uh, Chariot really well treading treacle and going backwards here. So Chariot, I think, is out of the picture. But uh, Ferguson Rotic has won his last four races, piling on the pressure. Elliot Giles will be delighted with his response. Can he come back at Rotic? Rotic starting to tie up a little bit. Giles gaining in confidence all the time. I think Rotic has just got enough in the back there. Rotic comes through, 144.17. Elliot Giles in second place. A terrific run for the uh, the British athlete there coming through. And Rotic makes it five wins out of five. Well, it was a, a, a strange first lap, wasn't it, Steve? And, uh, and all credit to Elliot Giles for just uh, taking charge of things, really. And uh, he'll be delighted with that second place. He may well be rewarded with a personal best, and uh, that's because he can...